Hi, this is Rob Sage, the Business Librarian again. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at MRI University Reporter. So uh, first you gather your demographic data about your city. So in the case of Santa Barbara, we looked at the census website and found that they had a median income of 77,000. Uh, there were a large group of people just across the kind of the middle income area from about 35,000 to 100,000. We also found that uh, the racial makeup of the city was generally split between people of Hispanic or Latino origin and people who were white but not of Hispanic and Latino origin. So what I'm going to do in MRI is see if those demographics ma match up with a product or service. So let's say my idea to open up a business is a wine bar. So I'm going to take a look and see if the demographics of people who drink wine in a bar match up to people who make $75,000 a year roughly, uh, and people are, who are either uh, white but not Hispanic or people of Hispanic origin. So I'm going to click on MRI University Reporter from the Business Communication Guide. It takes you to a, pay, a login page. If you've never used MRI before, I assume most of you haven't, you're going to have to register for account. So you're just going to click on register. Uh, I'll explain about the code a little bit later. Uh, you'll put in your name your email address, the capture code, and then you'll get an email to, in your box and you just confirm that you have a, an account. Once you've registered, you have a login and a password, you just click on login. And then there's two options here, one is pocket piece, one is university reporter. You're gonna click on university reporter. I'm gonna choose the latest study, which is 2019 spring. And I'm going to search the study for people who drink wine. It's best to do broad type searches and then narrow it down from there, or to use the menus. In this case, I'm just going to, uh, so for wine, I can choose beverages and then try to scroll through it, but I can just type in wine. It takes a little time sometimes to find the information. And you'll notice there's an option here, alcoholic beverages where consumed, bar in a club in the last 30 days. So basically, this is going to tell us uh, who is likely to be drinking wine in a bar so, to tell us if a wine bar is good for our particular city. So I'm going to click on alcoholic beverages where consumed. Again, this is kind of a slower database, so you just have to kind of wait it till it loads. And you'll notice on the left-hand side of the screen, under the detail, that's our option. So what we want to do is see who has drank wine in a bar or a club in the last 30 days? So the left-hand side is our product or service, in our case, drinking wine in a bar in the last 30 days. And on the right-hand side of the page is our target. These are the demographics. So one of the demographics we saw was that, generally speaking, people in Santa Barbara had an income of around <clears throat> Seventy-five to one hundred fifty thousand dollars was a large chunk of that. Uh, we also saw there were other middle income levels, like sixty to seventy-five. But let's look at seventy-five to one hundred forty-nine. That was the median, and the average income was about a hundred something. So, the numbers that matter for your purposes. We're going to ignore these first two columns. The ones that you need to consider are the percentage of the detail. So the detail is the percentage of people who drank, bar, who drank wine in a bar or a club in the last 30 days who are in the demographic. So this is telling us that 33.99% of people who make between 75,000, of people who drank beer, of, <laughs> people who drank wine in a bar make $75,000 to $150,000 a year. So 33% of all wine bar drinkers are in that income range. The next number, the percent target, that tells us the percentage of people in the demographic who use the product or service. So 2.22% of people who make $75,000 to $149,000 have drank wine in a bar in the last 30 days. So what do these numbers tell us? Basically that consumers, wine bar consumers, are largely people who are in this income range, more than any other income range, right? 33% is higher than 23%, it's higher than 10%. So 
So really, among the income brackets, 75 to 149,000, that's who your uh, wine bar drinkers are. On the other hand, the percentage of the target tells us that not a lot of people in that income range drink wine at a bar. Now, it's kind of confusing. It's basically the consumers who do drink wine at a bar are largely people in that income range, but not a lot of people in that income range, generally speaking, drink wine at a bar. So it's, it's a niche product, in other words. The index tells you how likely that group is to use the product or service. 100 is the average. So anything above 100 means they're more likely. And the higher the number, the more likely they are than other groups. So in our case with income, where 150,000 has an inc has 182. So that's saying that people who make 150,000 are the most likely among all income groups. Uh, people who make 75 to 149, which is our range for Santa Barbara, 109 means they're a little bit more likely than average. But they're not way above average, like 150,000 or more. Then we also had race. So we saw that white was very high, and we saw that Hispanic was very high. So white, we can see that 76% under the detailed percentage, 76.60% of people who drink wine in a bar are white. We can also see that 2% of white people drink wine in a bar. So same sort of deal as people who make uh, 75 to 150,000. And then our index is 102, so just about average. White people are as likely as average, likely as average, to drink wine in a bar, but they overwhelmingly make up the largest percentage of people who drink wine in a bar. So again, niche product, mainly used, obviously used very much by, by white people. Now, if we look at Hispanic, Spanish or Hispanic origin or descent, we'll see that 20% of uh, wine bar consumers are of Hispanic origin. We'll also see that 2.59% of Hispanic people have drank wine in a bar in the last 30 days. And that gives them an index of 128, which is much higher than white. So 28% more likely than average uh, for Hispanic people to drink wine in a bar. So what this kind of tells us together is that as far as the races go, large chunk of wine bar consumers are white, uh, the, the largest chunk by far, uh, which again matches the population of Santa Barbara, and also another large chunk of the population of Santa Barbara is, uh, is of Spanish or Hispanic origin, and they have a very high index of 128. So they are very likely, more than other demographic groups, to drink wine in a bar. So this is pretty tricky, obviously. I tried to explain it as best as I could. If you do have any questions, please feel free to contact me by email, and I'm happy to help you guys out. I'm going back to our guide for a second to show you that under the statistics tab at the very bottom, under the MRI Plus handout, there is a guide to register for your account. So please follow those instructions for registering. You, need, you do need an account in order to register, and you have to make sure to use your Cal State Fullerton email address. Also is a cheat sheet. So everything that I've just kind of go, gone over in the last few minutes is explained in more detail on this handout. So please download this handout and keep it open or print it out while you use MRI. It's a very big help.